गाइस दिस इज सौरभ नाई फ्रॉम ऑल बॉटिंग लॉजीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द एसुस जेन बुक 3 सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स बिगिन सो द मेन हाइलाइट ऑफ दिस लैपटॉप इज इट्स डिजाइन बिल्ड एंड पोर्टेबिलिटी इन डिजाइन एंड बिल्ड डिपार्टमेंट इट शर्ली इज इंस्पायर्ड बाय द 12 इंच मैकबुक व्हिच इज नॉट अ बैड थिंग एक्चुअली इट वेस्ट जस्ट 910 ग्राम्स एंड इट इज 11.9 एमएम थिन सो इट्स एक्सट्रीमली कॉम्पैक्ट एंड लाइटवेट यू कैन कैरी इट इजीली व्हिच मेक्स इट वेरी पोर्टेबल Also the hinge is excellent you can easily open it with one hand Now I have this rose gold color variant which looks awesome and yes it's not too pinkish like the iPhones Anyways it also comes in blue and gray color options which looks great but given a choice I would go with the blue one leaving my preferences aside so on top it has got reflective brushed aluminum which looks premium and classy Asus overall nailed it with the build quality just like the MacBook and some design changes surely makes it stand out But sadly for thin and light design you have to sacrifice the ports. Like the 12 inch MacBook it has got only one USB type C port. Yes you heard it right. Only one USB type C port. So you have to use a lot of adapters and dongles which unfortunately are not widely available yet. And to stand the fact that USB type C is the future but as us could have at least included an adapter which would have been great. Anyways on the other side you have headphone jack. Yeah we are still using it. Now coming to the display it has got a 12.5 inch 1080p panel which is pretty good I would say. It's not a touch screen though if you were expecting that but it's vibrant bright and viewing angles are also decent and combining it with its surprisingly good quad speakers which are based on Herman Kardon technology you get a really good multimedia experience above that beautiful display there is a webcam you got the point right now let's talk about performance which separates ZenBook 3 from its main competition that is 12 inch MacBook you get an Intel Core i7 7500U processor with 8 or 16 GB of RAM and 500 or 1 terabyte of PCIe SSD which is very fast. We ran couple of benchmarks and the numbers as you can see are decent, not that great, but it can run day to day tasks easily. Even it can easily handle photo editing and light 1080p video editing without any issues. So the performance is solid and better than 12 inch MacBook. But when it comes to gaming it's not the same case. It has Intel HD 620 graphics so you can play lightweight games on low settings at 1080p such as CS:GO with average of 30 frames per second which is still not good enough but with modern demanding titles like Rise of Tomb Raider it struggles to deliver a good experience with pretty bad frame rates. It has single fan which cools down the CPU a little bit but when playing games and doing some heavy tasks it heats and make noise a little bit but not too much. Now let's take a look at the keyboard. It's not very tactile and it has got very low key travel, but considering the form factor of the laptop, I won't complain about that. But the location of the power button is kind of odd. It sits above the backspace and you might accidentally press it. So that's a thing. But you will get used to it easily after using it for a while. Keyboard is backlit, which is a nice thing as you can easily use it in dark. So overall it's a decent keyboard, not a lot to complain about. Right below the keyboard there is trackpad. Now when it comes to trackpads nothing in the world can beat MacBooks but ZenBook's trackpad is not that bad. It's smooth and accurate and you can also use all the standard gestures. But one thing Asus has integrated well is a fingerprint sensor which is excellent and works perfectly with Windows Halo for unlocking the laptop. It's fast, accurate and works 99% of the time. Now talking about the battery life I would say it's decent. It will easily last you for 4 to 5 hours with casual use and little bit of gaming sessions. Although once we were just playing CS:GO and it lasted for about 2 and a half hours to 3 hours. It is running Windows 10 with some useful applications which of course you can easily uninstall manually. It comes with this decent sleeve which you can use when you are traveling. So let's conclude this video now. ZenBook 3 has impressive build quality, it's extremely portable, you get amazing display and speakers, great performance, decent keyboard, trackpad and fingerprint sensor but when it comes to downsides poor gaming performance terrible web camera and its price yes this thing is expensive the price varies between 1.1 lakhs to 1.5 lakh depending on what model you get so i won't really recommend it unless and until you don't mind spending that much for such portability and looks so guys that was my verdict on the zenbook 3 i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel then definitely hit that red subscribe button and that bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload more such awesome videos also if you are interested in buying this laptop that link will be there in the description box along with the links to all my social media networks so make sure you follow me over there that's it guys this is sarun hai from all bar technologies thank you guys for watching bye